at first the idea was that, that we were going to uh, have, find existing images and just kind of blow them up and install them, you know, um, and not have them originally painted. Um, but as we did more research into that, determined that it probably wouldn't give us a nice look that we wanted, even though it would be a lot less expensive. Um, some donors in the parish came forward and said that they'd be willing to pay for the traditional hand-painted um, icons. So, so we started looking around for an iconographer, and uh, and we found John. Uh, I got into painting because my dad uh, also does this. Uh, he's a priest, and he paints Russian-style icons. And he was taught at Jordanville Seminary, Holy Trinity Seminary in Jordanville. And so I just grew up watching him paint and then eventually started traveling with him. And then eventually just went off on my own to do it too. In helping my dad, we would travel to places and one of the places was Chicago and we had just a little bit of work left over to do there. So we went to finish that work and that's when I met my wife. So here we're, we're starting on Palm Sunday, the entrance of the Lord into Jerusalem. And it takes about three weeks to do a wall this big, I guess. After deciding to go ahead with it, then what we had to do um, is we needed the Archbishop's blessing. So he had us work with John before he started painting on a, a plan for not just these icons up above, which is what we wanted to have done that we had the money for, but a plan for what the whole church might look like if, um, if one day we had the funding to, to do it all. You know, Traditionally, in, in Orthodox churches, every surface has, has something, some kind of art, typically iconography, although it can be other things. And so, um, so the Archbishop just basically wanted us to make sure that whatever we had done now would fit a greater theme, you know, um, and that it would work with whatever we were able to do down the road.